Welcome to this video where we're going to have a look at how we can use visual representations and manipulatives to help students understand the process of dividing, in this case, 52 by four. I can't tell you how many times parents uh, say to me, Marg, we learned it differently. We did long division, it's now short division. Um, we don't know how to help our kids. The Australian curriculum requires students to learn written methods for solving problems like 52 divided by four. It doesn't stipulate which method. This really important part here is for students to understand what they are doing. So I'm going to do it a couple of different ways. Um, and as long as your, your child is understanding the process of what they're doing and not just routinely following some steps and rules that they don't fully understand, um, that's the goal, that's what we want. So 52, I've got 52 here using my place value cards, five tens and two ones. And I'm dividing that into four groups. I'm sharing it into four equal parts. So I'm just going to draw some groups here. And let's start actually doing that. Now, some students will be encouraged to represent it or rewrite it like this and that's fine. This will be the short, um, short division way of showing it. So I've got 50. I want to divide 50. Actually, I don't have 50. I have 60 there. Throw one back. Now I've got 50. 50 divided by four groups shared equally. We can do that to see that we've been able to put 110 in each group and we're left with 110. Now, we can't split this 10 up as it exists at the moment as one card amongst the four groups. What we have to do is change it into ones. So I've got 10 ones here and I physically swap the 10 for 10. So now what I have is 12 ones and I put the one there um, to show that it's 12 ones. Now we need to share those 12 ones into four groups and each group will get three. We could do it one at a time if, if that's required, but hopefully they're building up their understanding of their times tables as we go. And now we can see that there are three ones in each group. If we go back and check, we can see that each group has 13 and 52 divided by four was 13. Let's think about that process now. If you're someone of my age group that learnt to do that by long division, how's the process different? Well, it's not, other than we used to write in a few extra steps. Uh, let me turn over the page. So four into 52. Same applied, we shared our 50 into four equal groups. I need to make it 50. And we noticed that that used up 40 of our cards or four of our tens. We used to write our one here, four goes into five or four goes into 50 10 times and we knew that that was 40 which would leave us with a remainder of 12. Now we did that in one step in the earlier example. We didn't take away the 40 because we were sharing it and in some ways by not mentioning this subtraction it really helps kids. They start to think well, why am I subtracting when I'm dividing? It's because you were sharing and you're wanting to know how many was left over. The important part for us in the previous um, example was the fact that we had this 10 left and we had to break it down into 12. And that's what we used to get when we do the, and what we still get, but that was the process here with the um, subtraction and writing it down. And so now you would be saying 12, four into the 12 and that goes three, 
because you would do the three here. So the real difference here, and I'm sorry, I should finish off. So you'd minus the 12 and that would be your zero. So the real difference here are these steps because in our short, shorter way of doing it, where well we went four into our 50 was one with 110 left over and four into 12 was three. You can see we weren't subtracting each time, even though that effectively was what we were doing with the model. The real key here is for students to be talking about not five, but 50, for them to be breaking their 10 down into the ones because they had no other way to share it. By using the manipulatives, we're actually modeling each of these steps and we're doing it here. Hopefully this will help you do some division work with your student. There's more uh, videos to come on divisions, so please hit subscribe if you wanna be notified when they, they arrive. Thank you.